a couple of recommendations uh on that note related to artists uh loving vincent beautiful movie yeah yeah maybe there. one of the best movies ever made especially wow. when you look at the way they did it with actual paintings uh another movie that i would recommend people see in relation to the art world and uh artwork uh basquiat with jeffrey wright back in the uh day Savings Bonds and the Mutual Network present Bands for Bonds. In the background, we have the choices collection of modern musicians gathered together by Barry Ulanoff, editor of Metronome Magazine, Dizzy Gillespie, trumpet, Charlie Parker, alto sax, John Laporta, clarinet, Billy Bauer, guitar. Lenny Tristano. Lenny Tristano, piano. That was Max Roach at the drum. And Ray Brown on the bass. bass. Basquiat and Jeffrey Wright and Basquiat, mm -hmm. uh, the artist, is referenced in this film, by the way. Yeah, and uh, uh, because the the art the artist who directed it, Titus Kafer, is uh, mm. uh, is and and uh, and was a contemporary. We should point out that also Bowie plays Andy Warhol in it, oh, and yeah. uh, Gary Oldman, I believe, plays Julian Schnabel. I think that's who he's <laughs> that's supposed to be in it. So Bowie. Great Hmm? Yeah, no. What were you gonna no, say? No, I, 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 I love Bowie in that. I love him as Warhol because he's he captures it, and and they have they have you know overlapping aspects of who they are, and um, and and it shows. And then I, uh, you know, another great Bowie cameo. I love uh, Bowie as uh, as Tesla in the Prestige. Yeah, Bowie, I think was really good in a lot of movies. Um, Absolutely. So I'm. We, I'm, 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 I'm digress for a second but when when bowie and and prince passed away and you know in rapid succession you know two great artists and, and geniuses but i was having like a discussion and, I, and that's the nice way to say it with a friend of mine huge prince fan and um who was the more influential artist and she's like oh prince for it and i'm like you don't hmm. understand what david bowie is then i mean yeah prince was you know musical genius obviously a multi instrumentalist extraordinarily talented and a, and a gifted songwriter who contributed songs to so many people bowie had so much influence in music but so far beyond music like you know in every dance art form in in dance and you know in in visual arts um and just uh, in fashion uh it's it, it's hard for me to even even have that discussion so this is dangerous territory with Eric Mark because he takes these things very personally. He's very much dedicated to his music and the art form. Don't get him started on Depeche Mode. Um, but well, don't you uh, get me started on Depeche Mode because yeah, your 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 prejudices show through and are incorrect. <laughs> and you're and you're, you're you're judging you're judging like you know teenage I, Depeche Mode in the early eighties. Hold up, hold up. I don't have any prejudice towards Depeche Mode or its members. I have a lot of respect for what they did musically. It's not my thing, but it can certainly be your thing. And that's what I'm gonna that's the case I'm gonna make with music. It's interpretive. So I would agree with you. I think Bowie certainly influenced a legion of artists, as did Prince. It's more the question to me is more self-centered and who's more influential to you as the listener in your mind. And these are the arguments that get people go down the rabbit hole on, and I just can't fully embrace it. 
I mean, I would tell you this though, having known people in both camps and having attached Bowie to a movie at one point when I was at Warner Brothers, uh, Bowie seemed like the easier guy to be around. <laughs> All right, and well, that, that kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm I, taking that as an endorsement to my point of view. It is an endorsement to your point of view because, believe me, that counts. If an artist is exceptional, I have respect for their work. But if I, you know, if I don't want to be in the room with them, that also kind of chips me a bit. Certainly on the acting side, and you know, this, mm. this isn't how musicians are judged, but on the acting side, you know, Bowie is actually a fantastic actor. Yeah, we've he all, was. We've, we've all seen Purple Rain. <laughs> we've seen Purple Rain, but what's worse is some of us had to suffer through Cherry Moon. So <laughs> I would actually say Chappelle as Prince is a better acting version of Prince than Prince being Prince. Um, you know, and but you know what's funny because Gilbert Davidson, Prince's longtime manager, was very honest and well, you know him too. He's been in the camp here yeah. for a while. And he's a brilliant guy. But he did, even on the show, say when that movie came out, we they all thought their careers were over when Purple <laughs> Rain came out. He's said that publicly wow. on this show and probably elsewhere. And it's interesting that that movie is so iconic and did so much for Prince, yet everyone at the screening, wow. the first screening goes, oh, my God, what are we going to – I better look for a job. <laughs> I better look for a job. Both exceptional talents. And Absolutely. Both do the most Balance. yeah absolutely what do you think it's they thought different. of each other Ooh, interesting i bet bowie was probably really enthralled with prince's ability i would think so yeah i, mean, I would think so yeah i mean prince again just multi-talented in in in, in, a, in a true musician's musician and again yeah. you know and then you know and then the legendary just long runs of four hour concerts night after night you know i mean yeah, that's, that's yeah. Uh, incredible. exceptional like, i mean giving those yeah. fans what they want and mosb is a disease that can blind you paralyze you or kill you but the good news is doctors seem to think they're very close to a cure they also seem to think that a cure for nmosd will be a cure for cancer so that's two for one that I can't ignore. And if you're like me, you would donate today to the Gutsy Jackson Foundation. My name is Steve Sergic, and I approve this message. 